Hey guys, Fifth Freak 59 as you can see by the last video guys, I do have a new video today, and this is pretty much gonna be a video that you guys requested, and it was a uh, my top 10 players I've used in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. So this is going to be the first part out of two parts because I wouldn't be able to fit all 10 players into one video and be able to talk about them, you know, thoroughly. So I thought I'd do two parts to this video pretty much. So the second part will be out tomorrow if we can hit 30 likes in this video. So go hit the like button below and that video will be out tomorrow if we do hit the target of um, 30 likes. So hit the like button, but let's get into the video now, guys. We're going to be covering 10 to 6 in this uh, video and in the second part, we'll cover 5 to 1. But starting it off with number 10, a great player. It's going to be the Tots Benacia card, an absolutely ridiculous card. At the time I bought it, it was around 350,000 coins. He's actually gone up, you know, just so much since then because of the market inflation. He is a great card all around. You can see on the right hand side some of his key stats. 95 strength, 98 tackling, 98 marking, 99 shot power, 94 heading accuracy, and 98 interceptions. You know, just an amazing card all around. One of the best standard backs I've used in the game. His normal card is overpowered, and this card just takes it to a new level. You know, a really great card. I think you guys, if you do have the coins, you know, you should try out this guy before the game does end. Now we move on to number 9, and it's going to be the Team of the Year, Thiago Silva. But before I talk about this guy, pretty much let me know in the comments section below who are your best players that you pretty much use in this year. You don't have to do, you know, 10, you can do 5, or even 1, but just let me know who's like the best player that you used in the whole year. But then we do talk about this guy, and Team of the Year, Thiago Silva, just an amazing card all around. Just look at that pace for one, 87 pace on a center back. That's just so overpowered, along with 88 strength, and he actually has 89 sprint speed, so, you know, when he gets into his gears, he does go a lot faster than the 87. 99 tackling, 91 shot power, 91 ball control, which is, you know, really pretty cool on a center back that he's that good at dribbling, and 99 interceptions, just a great player all around. He's actually really good for the KSI. You know, really good for putting the balls over the top. So if you guys actually had the coins to use this guy, I would try him out. But he is, you know, a very expensive card now due to the market inflation. At the time, I bought him for around, I think, 700,000 coins. It wasn't, you know, too much back then um, for this sort of card. But now I think he goes for around 2 million coins. So he's a great card, but very pricey at the moment. But we do move on to number 8. And this is probably a card that you guys probably didn't think that would make it into this video. It is going to be Tots Perez. Originally, you know, I really enjoy using this guy's non-rare card before this Tots card came out. It was just so much fun to play with, and I did feature it in a lot of squad builders that I did on my channel. If you guys um, probably saw that 5k one that I did on my channel, it has around 40,000 views. One of the most, um, most viewed videos on my channel. A really great team that one was. And it did feature Perez. Perez was one of the best players in that team. Just look at some of the stats on this guy. 88 sprint speed, 88 dribbling, 84 shot power, 88 ball control, and 81 interception. Just a great card all around. And he's just, you know, a great player that you guys should try out before the game does end. Because he does only go for around 60,000 coins. So he is very affordable. And he's great for making hybrids around. So you guys should try out this guy before the game does end. But we do move on to number 7, and it's going to be Draxler. This guy is just amazing. Looking at his card stats, he doesn't look too good. Uh, but in-game, he just plays like someone, you know, something like a 88 rated card. He, that's how he plays. Like, he's just so good. He shots at 78. In-game, it feels, you know, somewhere around like 89, 88, somewhere around there. It's just always, you know, a great shot on both feet, which is just, you know, a great bonus to this player. A lot of people probably use this card in this game and would agree that he does deserve to get placed on this list. But we do move on to number 6 and it's going to be the last player of this episode. Then we will move on to the second part where we will talk about the other 5 but we'll round it up with uh, Royce to pretty much finish off this video. Royce 4 star skills, 4 star weak foot, an absolutely amazing card, great for finesse shots, 92 sprint speed. 89 long shot, 87 dribbling, 85 shot power, 86 finishing, and 89 agility are some of his key stats in the game. A lot of people probably use this card in the game. It goes for around 60,000 coins at the moment on both consoles. 
and he's just a great card all around. Very overpowered, plays, you know, somewhere around, I'd say like an 88 rating sort of card. He's just so much fun to play with in game. But it's interesting to note that, you know, Ribéry at the left wing position, his card stats, they're not really that amazing for a 90 rated card. But then you look at Royce, 85, and he's actually got better stats all around than Ribéry. And in my opinion, you know, Royce does play better. I've actually used the Team of the Year Ribéry card. And it was a very big disappointment, in my opinion. Didn't do too much when I played with him, but that does finish off this video, guys. In the second part to this video, which will come out tomorrow, if you guys can hit 30 likes, I will do the other five players. But let me know below who you think is the best player that you used in Ultimate Team. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. A like would be appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day, and bye.